The Rabbit and Gina Podcast. Her name is Lou. Twelve, you're eleven. To, how old are you now? I can't even remember. Eleven, turning twelve at the end of this year. Eleven-year-old music guru Lulu is back for 2022. And for those who haven't heard what happens with this as well, Lulu reviews bands that she's never heard of or artists she's never heard of before, and gives us an eleven-year-old take on it. Today, it's Ice House. See, I love Ice House. I went and saw Ice House when I was eighteen. I saw them live in Toowoomba really? in Queensland. Yeah, and they were very, very cool. <laughs> Do you remember what songs they play? Yes, um, I don't remember all of them because I, I was. Uh, it was. A, it's a little while ago. Um, but <laughs> <laughs> We're not talking last weekend, uh, Lulu. Oh, listen, you take us through and give yeah, Gina yeah. You some remind me. Here. You remind me. Uh, what are we thinking? How many songs are we doing here? Um, top eight hundred. Top eight hundred. Here we go. I'm, jo- I'm joking. At number eight hundred. <laughs> all right. How about we start with a let's flute? Mm-hmm. It was written with John Oates from Hall & Oates. Oh! I love Hall & Oates. I Same. didn't know that. Davies was lukewarm on it. Oates wasn't. He told me if Ice House didn't record it, Hall & Oates would record it and it would be a hit. And he was right. Yeah, wow, that was almost a Hall & Oates song. Cool. Have you done Hall & Oates? Um, I think I have. Actually. Yeah, you have actually. Yeah, I remember that. Next song. Can we do Street Cafe? Yeah, 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 that's a good one. Russell Musnaki gets his ra- Raiders of the Lost Ark on in the video. Did you watch the video clips? I kind of remember Street Cafe, not but not really. Well, it was filmed in Tunisia. Oh yeah. And they said they nearly got killed by a Razor gang who didn't like them filming there. Oh. I was covered in camel poop for five days to get the look they wanted. They had to smuggle the film out of Tunisia. Most unpleasant video I've ever made. Wow. Apparently. But that's just the video. I love the song. The song makes up for all the videos. Next song. Okay, how about we go with Crazy considering that's number two in Australia in 1987. I love this song. Number two for Weeks and Weeks by Kylie Minogue, Locomotion, says Baby. Oh, no. Also known as the biggest seller of the 80s. Second position to the biggest song of the 80s. That's not terrible. Yeah. Gina's new single that she brought out only, only a little while ago was sitting right behind a couple of the biggest songs yeah, in country. Yeah, I feel in, the pain in a country drive. music kind of a way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but they were massive songs. Yeah. Fancy Like, I think, was one of them. Oh, I don't even and, remember. And uh, what the other um, one was as well. Do you remember, so. Gina? Yes. Do you remember the recording? Gypsy Soul because I love that song. Oh, oh thank you, Lulu. I do remember. I think it's called Old Woman Knows. Get back on the ground. Oh, thank you. <laughs> She's been I researching me. Yeah. Yeah. When Lulu thank came you, into Lulu. the studio last week, uh, last year, and she met you at the end of the end of the year, her mum said that Lulu got back in the car and just wanted to listen to your songs oh, all, the way, all the way to thanks, school. Lulu. You're beautiful. I love how you know the names. <laughs> Gina doesn't. No, I'm like, hang on, I didn't know. Mm-hmm. All right, back to Ice House. Hey, what about my obsession? Hey, Lulu, in, in all of your research, did you find out why he called himself Ivor or what his real name is? No. Clearly, I don't think that's the name his mum would have given him, Ivor Davis. Are you guessing right now or are you bringing facts to this as well? I'm guessing. I'm <laughs> guessing that would not be his real name. And I'm wondering what his real name actually is. Here we go. Or do you think it's Ivor? It, it is actually Ivor, but it's I-V-O-R. Oh. Ivor. Oh. Ivor, like Igor. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. Back when I was 18, he was a very cool looking dude. Oh, yeah, with that mullet. Yeah. He had a mullet, didn't he? Blonde. Well, I beg- Not blonde. Oh, Bleached. yeah. In a couple of the videos, I saw the mullet, mullet reappear and I'm just like... And on to the next music video. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Of course I did have to. He, <laughs> he had the mullet, but it was um, quite foofy out to the sides yes, as well. Yes, but in the 80s, yeah. the, bigger, the bigger the hair, the better. Like, True. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He with the biggest the hair wins. Hair. Yes, and he had very big hair. Next song, Lulu. Ooh, what about Nothing Too Serious? Uh, It's 
is a live clip filmed at the Melbourne Showground on the Man of Cold Tour. And Davey said that there were 30,000 people there. Wow. 30,000. Just imagine that. And then just imagine how loud that crowd could be. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's been that long since Lulu's been to a gig. <laughs> 30,000 people in one place. Well, she's only 11. She's probably not been to it. She's a done gigs. Do you know gig? Michael Bublé? Oh, there you go. Where I else? went to a Taylor Swift reputation teacher. <gasps> Taylor Swift. Was that fantastic, Lulu? It was amazing. I bet. Oh, I, I love Tay Tay. Any other Ice House songs we need to cover off here? Have I said Great Southern Land yet? No. Well. House's anthem, and also an Australian anthem. It is. Yep. I asked my mum, hey, is this um, a Kiwi band? Because Great Southern Lions, New Zealand, down in the Southern Hemisphere. And the mum's like, no, it's Australian. And no, I'm like, Australia's like, the Australia's Great also Southern. in the yeah. Southern Hemisphere. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and this is how Lulu found out <laughs> where Australia is. <laughs> all right, well, listen, those are all fantastic. We didn't even get Hey Little Girl, which is an awesome one. God, they had a lot of big songs. Yeah. Okay, oh. Lulu, what are we thinking? Out of five for Ice House. Considering I loved a lot of their songs and I chose some actual good songs for the review, I think I should give Ice House a... I'm going to do it backwards again because then it's more fun. <laughs> it's okay, here we go. <laughs> 0.6. Flip that around. It's a 6.0! Whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Wow. Gina, you don't know how big this is. There are only... How many artists have got the six out of five? Bon Jovi. Fleetwood Mac. Fleetwood Mac. Crowded House. Yep. And a couple of others that I don't really remember. Well, there's not many, I tell you what. In like a, a year and a half of doing it, six out of five for Ice House. All right. For next week, Lulu, we would like you to learn all about Katy Perry. <gasps> Katy Perry? Ooh. Ooh. Because you know her. You've heard songs, but I don't know that you'd know all of her stuff. That is true. I, she was bringing yeah. out stuff in, like, early 2000s. Well, you weren't out, even born. She started out as a Christian artist, I think. Ooh, I, I think. I could be wrong, because I'm mostly wrong, Lily. <laughs> so. <laughs> all right, well, let's do that. Let's lock it in. Let's go. Katy Perry for next week, please. Sweet. Lily, oh. the music guru is out of the blue. The Rabbit and Zena podcast. Yesterday on the show, we were talking about a new TV show. Actually, I don't know if it's new. When did you watch the home edit? Oh, probably 12 months ago. Oh, God. (laughs) Yeah, I think even maybe a little bit more. Oh, really? Yeah, it was when lockdown kind of first happened and I got inspired to, you know, the first time you cleaned your house when lockdown happened? (sighs) And then you had to do it again because it got back to where it was. That was my first. That was then? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. I only just found it like a few days ago and thought I'd stumbled across something new. Well, something fabulous. (laughs) Yeah, definitely something fabulous. Uh, If you haven't, oh, look, this is for people who like organising things. Mm. And we're talking like, you know. Uh, you open your pantry and everything's all in plastic containers and stuff. Yeah. And all of the all the sachets are together in one con- and they're section labeled and, and everything's labeled. And labeled. Not not with like permanent marker. I've got a label maker at home. Do, of course you do. Yeah, I'm considering using it. <laughs> no, it was just I think it was the boss's, and he went. I never use this. I don't want it. Do you want it? And I went, yeah, because I like free things. And then I went, I went. What do I want a label maker for? <laughs> Has it got a nice font? Oh, but it connects to your computer. Oh. So whatever you put in there, and then you go print, and it prints it out on oh, a so sticker. In my head, I've got the one that, did, 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 and then you peel off a little sticker oh, God, that, that it made. Actually, in the I think thing. I've got that as well that yeah. the boss didn't want. Went, you want a label maker? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's just giving me all his old label makers. <laughs> Loves a label. Um, but, uh, right, so there's that TV show that, that I got into. I've also stumbled across something else that um, is... Quite the opposite to that. Oh. Yeah. Oh. It's, uh, no, it's not like a how to mess up your house. <laughs> <laughs> Hoarders or My son like that. could star on the How to Mess Up Your House. Could he? Like, oh, he's fantastic at it. Do y'all hate yeah. mess? <laughs> oh, do you hate tidiness? <laughs> do you want to just live your best life? Watch this. Do you like towels on the floor? <laughs> towels on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> episode two, towels on the floor. What are the episode titles? Oh, never Make Your Bed. Never making your bed. Have you ever wondered how to not make your bed? <laughs> Stick around. It's coming up right after these messages from our sponsors. <laughs> I don't think of who the how many toilet would be rolls either. can you leave on the floor? In oh, your episode toilet? seven. That's yeah, a great one. That's a good one. <laughs> toilet rolls on the floor. How long can you leave it before you wash up? <laughs> 
I like that they're all questions as well. So I, I'm on Netflix and I'm scrolling down the episodes. I've gone into episodes and more. And then I look, ooh, look at episode seven. How long can you leave it before washing up? <laughs> I don't yeah. know. Was it a day? Two days? I don't... I'm going to have to watch it. You're going to have to watch it. God, incredible clickbait with this thing. <laughs> no, the TV show I'm watching is, um, what's it called? Rhythm and Flow. And it's um, T.I., Tip, with Cardi B and Chance the Rapper. And it's like a... It's like The Voice. It's like one of those singing shows. Oh. But it's rappers... Oh. And uh, they're trying to find like the next rap superstar, right. and, and it's really good. Um, there's certain words that get said a lot, so I can't yeah. watch this with the volume up on the TV. No, or any um, children. No, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So I have to watch it with my headphones on, right. and um, <laughs> and it's like it, it, I'm glad that they haven't censored it. So there's no censoring. There's no beeps right. in it because it would be like. Watching Morse code, like it went, beep, 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 beep. <laughs> and I went to the beep and I put down the beep and the beep and the beep. And beep. <laughs> It'd just be impossible. I still want to just sit there with my eyes wide open, like shocked. How long can you beat and leave it before you pick up your beat and towels off the floor? <laughs> the Rabbit and Zena podcast. Do you think Google's always listening? Just. Does oh, anyone Google else think listening. that? Oh, yeah. I was at my friend's house the other day and my mum, she'd been sick and my mum made her beautiful lemon cake and, we, and she was saying, oh, that lemon cake your mum made me was just so delicious. Google pipes in, I like lemon cake too. No. Here's a recipe. I'm not, and we were, I like lemon what? cake too. I'm not You're even You're a computer. Kidding. You don't like I lemon cake. I like lemon cake. cake too. Here's a recipe. And then she rattled off a lemon cake recipe. That's great. It's crazy. I, and I swear sometimes I just think stuff. And then the next time I go to my phone or my laptop, uh-huh. an ad comes up. I was thinking about plantation shutters the other day. I didn't say that loud. I was just thinking about them. Yeah. Now I've got ads for the, plantation you, shutters. You, do you know why you were thinking about them? Because there's always ads for plantation <laughs> shutters popping up everywhere. <laughs> I've been thinking about plantation shutters. You know why? Because their ads keep coming up on my Facebook feed. Or, and then, yeah, or, 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 or Google's listening. And I, I mean, get, here's the other thing. Yeah. Here's what it knows, right? It knows that you, of your gender and your age, know, you yeah. and your where you are in life, yeah. you are bang up for some plantation shutters I right guess. about now. Because yeah, I, I am too. Are you really? <laughs> yeah, which is funny because we're Opposite not the same gender. gender not the same. <laughs> same stages of our life, though, I think. Similar. You know. Similar. Wait, you don't even own a house. You can't go putting plantation shutters no, on a rental. I'm buying it. You know, I'm looking. I'm looking God, for are you a what? house. I love. I'm addicted to realestate.com. Yeah. Ah, oh, I just I can't stop looking. But you're using it like you use Harvey Norman. <laughs> like you go into Harvey Norman, take photos of yourself on the lounges, and go, "Ooh, this looks good. Oh, I, I look good in this." And then yeah. you don't buy it. This is what you're doing with realestate.com.au. <laughs> no, you I'm planning on houses. buying one. But it's not a pair of shoes. You know, you buy a house, you can't take it back if it's slightly the wrong size. You have to make the right decision. Slightly the wrong size. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I love, love real estate. Looking for a house at the moment to buy all over the place. Yeah. All the real estate agents know me by name because I'm a regular. But yes, I'm really? looking for somewhere to put my Harvey Norman furniture. Yeah, which and those, you don't have. And those plantation shutters. Which you don't have. <laughs> but boy, you know where to get all these things. I did go in. In, in the holidays, I did go into Harvey Norman and I sat on a few lounges and took some photos. So weird. The- like this is, I, you know, we haven't <laughs> known each other that long, but one of the things I know about you, and it's been brought up by other people to me, how's Gina? She goes and sits on furniture. <laughs> no, you've got to feel it. And when I was in Harvey Norman, lovely lady, I sat on one, oh, that's good. And I sat on one, I got straight up and she went, you know, straight away, don't you? And I said, you do. Like you sit on a lounge, it's a yes or it's a no, very mm-hmm. quickly, very quickly. Mm. And I, the reason I take photos, I don't take photos of myself in the lounge. I take a photo of the lounge and then the price. So I can go oh. home and then the measurements. Do you know what they have in Harvey Norman now? Oh, God, here we go. Is this they an have- ad for Harvey Norman we're talking right now? <laughs> Started off these- as plantation shutters. <laughs> <laughs> they, if you like something, they've got this little picture of it and it's got all the measurements and you can just rip that off and take it with you. Not off the Oh, that's shutter, handy. But like a little a whole bunch of them and you take it with you and you can go home and you can measure it. Like, you should see. Oh, it's the tape got the measure. measurements all written yeah. on it. I yes. also get the tape measure out a lot at home and I draw the floor plans of the house I haven't bought and then I get the tape measure out and I see if the lounge I haven't bought will fit. Wait, so do you look <laughs> up a not house? That weird. I think people do this. I think this is not as weird as you're thinking. Oh. Uh, I think it's a thing. What's my face saying? It's weird. <laughs> <laughs> No, not what do you think of my face. What's my face saying? <laughs> uh, so wait, so I just want to check on this because yeah. uh, 
weird thing is, this is exactly what I would do. Mm. But you, so you're looking at a house because uh-huh. uh, you sold a while ago, and you're, yes. and you're looking to, looking to buy now, right? Yes. Um, you've picked a great time to be buying. <laughs> it's I a real know, buyer's right? market. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? So are you are you finding in the photos of the house the floor plan? Yes. And then it's got the room sizes. Yes. And I tell you what, but I do. then you go and draw up your own floor plan yeah, of it. Yeah. And, yeah. and put the furniture yeah, in there. Yeah, I got so serious about one house; it didn't have a floor plan. I drew my own. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like about 4.82 metres, that I step room. it out. When I'm in the house, I step it out and I record on the video. Oh, this is going too far for people oh, to know. Oh. Maybe this is a little weird. What's but my that- face say now? <laughs> <laughs> but I can go home and draw. I love I love to draw a floor plan and get and do a, a centimetre as a metre and then you get yep. the measurements of the furniture and oh, I love it. Do you have little um, little models of the couches and stuff can, that you've made out of plasticine? Can you make me some? Because that would be so good. <laughs> That's funny. You know what you're there for, Gina? You're there for people that do that. You know? Oh, and we both are, really. As you're listening to that and you're going, oh, my God, I thought I was the only one that did that. I know. I think that other people do it. I don't know. I've there never heard of that before. There might be a lot before. of us, but there'll yeah. be some. Oh, yeah, but you they're know? a dedicated bunch. <laughs> <laughs> the Rabbit and Gina podcast. When I mentioned my motorbike yesterday on the show and you went, yeah, we haven't even really spoken about that. You're right. Oh, we haven't, have we? Is it time to talk about the motorbike? I think it's time to talk about it. Um, he's got a name as well. Which, he, uh, he's a he. Yeah, which, or, some, which shocked he, someone. Shouldn't he be a she? No. Nah. I don't know why. I don't know. He's just a real he. Yeah. yeah. Um, What's his name? I'll get to it. Well, I mean, you can you can have a few goes first if you like. Because, yeah, someone, someone said to me, uh, does she have a name? And I was like, oh, that's interesting you say she. Yeah, uh, I think that I... Th- he's a boy. Yeah. And then I showed how you can tell. <laughs> <laughs> Check the pipes. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, so it's a uh, it's a Harley Fat Boy is uh, is what oh. I've got. Oh. And um, oh, I love it. Yeah. So obviously, name wise, you've got um, Fatty Fatso. I went with Fatso for did a few you? days. Th- yeah. Did he find that offensive? That's the thing. I yeah. I never felt nice saying no. it. No. I take I, Fatso I... to the shops. <laughs> <laughs> That's hurtful. If like, if it was Sav People saying think it. it's Sav. <laughs> <Why not? laughs> I mean, I would never do that, but no. if, she, if she were to say, um, yeah, yeah, no, fatso, that's not a good, no. That's out of the shops. <laughs> makes it sound like you're talking about one of your kids or something, <laughs> doesn't it? It's terrible. Yeah, it's you, can't say, so, you can't say that. Um, no, so. So at first they were all, do you name your vehicles? Yeah, I do like to name vehicles. Yeah. So yeah. what do you got at the moment? That, what's its name? Well. It's, it's my, I bet sneakers. This one doesn't it? I don't have a car at the moment. Just sneakers. Sneakers. I walk everywhere. No, I, Rod, we don't have a car at the moment. Um, you drive so, in here every yeah, morning. Yeah, I drive in Rod's car. So I'm about to get a car. And even when I look at cars online, I think to myself, "Oh, you do look at a lot of stuff online. A, <laughs> do you want to buy anything? You'd be a Ruby. <clears throat> no. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, red car. <laughs> yeah, yeah. My my first car was Ruby. Mm-hmm. Um, my Natalie, my best friend's first car was a Vera. Vera the Volkswagen. Oh yeah. So yeah, kind of. Yeah, I do love to name a car. I've named. All of my cars. What's your? What's your, you've got a red car right now. What's what's her name? Doesn't have a name. Oh, see, I think he's a boy too. He he looks like a girl. Your red How car. How dare you, man! I got mocked over my car once. Did you? Yeah, I turned up at a uh, at a party. We were all going out to the footy, and normally I'd ride. This is when I had um, a different Harley, and I would I'd usually take my bike to the footy, but this time I turned up and I took my car. And it's uh, like a red Kia, uh, what is it? What's my car? Serato. And um, I I turned up in that and um, someone goes, oh, wife let you take the car tonight. (laughs) Is that why you bought a Harley? I was like, (laughs) (laughs) feeling a bit insecure about my car. I love my car. It's great. You know, it does it does yeah. what it needs to do. Yeah. No name um, no. for that one. Okay. <laughs> uh, but the yeah, but the bike he's uh, he's got a good name. Um, he's blue. It's yeah. a blue Harley. Yeah. And um, so, Sav suggested Bluey. Um, yeah, better than Fatso. Better than Fatso. And uh, but then I thought oh, that's taken the dog on oh, the that's cartoon. True. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty that's... much every name's going to be taken. I think. Well, I've just gone with blue. Oh, I don't like it now. Now that I'm blue. saying it out loud, blue. Hey, blue. Hey, blue. Take blue. <laughs> true, true blue. <laughs> true blue. Hey, true blue. <laughs> I mean, I could maybe I could get some help. There's a photo of it on our Facebook page. Okay, we need to maybe come of up with something. Is. I think maybe Harold. Mm. Harold Elvis. Oh, what? No, it's got a Elvis. It's got a rhyme. <laughs> no with, one. Well, it's got what? It's got a rhyme with. Well, no rhyme or like fit like. Oh, is that what you said? Harold, Harley. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's got to be alliteration. Yeah, like the yeah. letters have got yeah, to be the Harold same. Yeah, Harold the Harley. 
that's where fatso, obviously. Fatso, fatty. Yeah. Uh, they all go with the, go with yeah, the yeah. it's a fat yeah. boy. <laughs> it's a big decision. It is. <laughs> oh, there, there are those listening right now that are like, I get it. Oh, I've thought You've of got, it. Yeah, yes. I thought of the name. Wild Dog. Well, that's my name. I know, but it can't be your name because you're already Rabbit. <laughs> rabbit and the Wild Dog. Ooh, Wild Dogs might chase rabbits. I think they would. All right, you've taken it a bit weird now. <laughs> um, well, if you've got any suggestions, uh, you can call on your Facebook page. Um, that that would be quite helpful, thanks. Okay. Well, feels I'll, a bit weird not having an, yeah. a, a locked-in name for yeah, it. Yeah, You haven't helped out in the slightest. Harold I maybe the Harley, I think it's good. Harold, nope, not calling okay. my bike Harold. Marley? Marley Harley? Marley's not bad, but that's the Marley. dog two doors down. Uh, um, I couldn't know that. <laughs> well, <laughs> do your research. <laughs> the Rabbit and Gina podcast. How do you go with song lyrics, one Gina Jeffries? I can't remember them at all. Your own ones? All of them. Yeah, <laughs> all, I, all, the, all song lyrics. <laughs> I'm really bad at remembering song lyrics. Isn't that funny? I'm a singer. Often, mm. so we do a section in my show where people can yell out for requests and they'll yell out a song from like many, many years ago. Mm. And sometimes I have to say, you sing it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, no, I'm terrible. And I get them mixed up and, you know, all of that. But, uh, oh, yeah, and they'd know because they, they know the song. They've yelled it out. Exactly. <laughs> they want you. I've seen Bruce Springsteen do that. Bruce Springsteen, I always compare you and Bruce Springsteen. Yeah, but, so similar. <laughs> uh, him in concert, um, they don't have a set list. He just goes in and oh. he'll see signs out in the audience. And so yeah. people hold up signs yeah. and he'll go, oh, yeah. Let's yeah. do that one. Yeah, love and that. And his band, oh, my God, they just know. Like, yeah. he's got a million songs. And yeah. And it's a two, three, four, and then they're yeah, into yeah. it. Yeah, they he, re- he remembers all the words, so um, there's, <laughs> this, there's the one difference between you, you and know, Bruce though, Springsteen. You, you trust, you know, like, if you just trust your brain, it, yeah. go, it goes through the filing system, da, 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 and it'll come. It does come right at the very last second. My filing system's locked. <laughs> yeah, lock the key. It's one of those old... You've lost the key. one of those old metal. It's, a, it's old and rusty, <laughs> and it's metal, and there's probably mould in it as well <laughs> and the key's gone yeah I, there's yeah. not even a point even well, I don't even know where the filing cabinet is now I don't and know. I think sometimes you have to let old stuff out to let new stuff in because there's only so much space in your filing system I've only got four meg of RAM <laughs> um, of memory space up there I'm like an old Commodore 64 <laughs> I, I, I struggle to run anything, uh, yeah. any programs or anything. Uh, or as I bring it up, there was a song that came on as I was, what was I doing? Oh, a bit of leaf blowing. Had the headphones on. And uh, I think I'd said just, you know, put on some music. And my, what, do I, what one do I listen to? What streaming? My streaming service is YouTube Music. Oh. oh. It, it's free when you purchase YouTube Music. Premium, which basically means you don't get ads when you're watching stuff on YouTube. Right. Yeah. So that's why it's my right. streaming service. Anyway, so but it's not it's not super smart. I go play music I like, and then it oh, I don't know it'll start playing some random song. Check. This is one that's, that that came on, and I I was like, picture me, big headphones on, yeah. leaf blower going. Yeah. All right, I got a bit of a strut on. <laughs> You be- I'm like, I don't know what this is, but... <laughs> looks weird when people go and hear the music. <laughs> <laughs> I'm waiting for some sort of rap to come on. Oh, no rap. And uh, so I had to I had to look it up and find out what this is. Do you know the song? No. No, nah, same. It's from the 70s, cool, I think. Cool, right? uh, It's by Chic. It's called Good Times. Now, then it gets to this point, and I, I believe I may have got the lyrics wrong. I believe I may have got the <laughs> lyrics wrong because I had to look them up. I went, it can't be saying that. And it'll be interesting to see if you come up with the same lyrics I did. Okay, so first line of the song when they get past this. A new state of mind. Right. Got that? Yeah. Never heard the song before. Yeah, no. This line, Gina, in three, two, one. What did you hear? Happy days are here again. All right, so you didn't hear hot bidets are here again. <laughs> That's a hot bidets. Happy yeah, it's definitely here yeah, again. It's definitely hot bidets. I'm sorry, I was wrong. <laughs> it's me with my leaf flower. I'm sorry, what? I didn't know there was a there was an option to control the temperature. <laughs> the Rabbit and Zena Podcast. For more great comedy shows like this, head to novapodcast.com.au.